Hey everybody and welcome back to 3D Print Anything. Today we're going to take a look at the Malian M180. I've had it for a little over a month and now I think I'm ready to review it. Hey everybody, welcome back. This is the Malian M180. Uh, are you ready for dual extrusion? Because I am. I, I showed some videos on the channel recently here of these guys up front in two colors. And I mean, it did an amazing job. The prints out of this machine are awesome. You can even do VOS mode without any issues. This guy's a, a single uh, layer VOS mode print, no issues there. But for the, for the price point of this printer, is it worth purchasing? I think so. And I'll tell you why. This unit has a metal frame and it has plastic exterior pieces on it. But the metal frame is very strong. It's on the top, the corners, the bottom. It, it's built really well. Now, for the price point and the company this comes from, you're getting some mixed information from different sites on what the specs are. Uh, the general idea is the bed size is 230 millimeters wide, 150 deep, and 165 tall. Uh, but Simplify 3D has a profile that's a different size and some other sites don't always match up exactly either. The nozzle size on the manufacturer site and other sites listed at 0.35 or 0.4. Which one is it? The one that I got was 0.4. The other thing you're going to see on here is that the extruder section, quality wise behind these fans, it's made cheaply, let's be honest. This printer's just over $400. It's a dual extruder. It works, but some of the parts could use a little bit of improvement, uh, specifically this extruder here. But that being said, um, after I replaced the nozzles, which I did because I damaged one of them one day, unfortunately, but once they were replaced, back up and running, no problems. The cable at the top here was getting caught on the side underneath this uh, this rail and it would cause the um, the belt to skip and that's not good so I actually took the part that was holding the cable and designed my own to give it a higher support as you can see here to keep it out of the way so what I'm saying is basically yes this printer will print great um, can you make some changes to it when you get it yes you can but you can print the changes you can design them yourself this was designed in Tinkercad. You don't have to have Fusion 360 experience or knowledge of CAD programs. You just go into Tinkercad, make some modifications, and print them out. Uh, you can grab models off of Thingiverse, such as the bed leveling knobs that are underneath here. That's another change I've made. Uh, the next change I'm going to make is actually a fan for your nozzles. And the reason why is, yes, it has these two fans, and yes, there is an outlet right below that does a pretty good job, I'll tell you. The screen is not a touch display. It is just visual, so you have to use the knob off to the right. The printer supports SD card on the front, and it also has the ability to do Wi-Fi uh, SD, but I haven't set that up. So it doesn't have Wi-Fi built in, but you can put a Wi-Fi SD card, and it has the options in the firmware to set that up. Uh, couple other things, the max temperature that this unit came with on the nozzles is 250 Celsius. The bed temperature I've brought up to 110, uh, I haven't gone any farther than that, but didn't have a problem getting that even in a cold room for the test. You've got two filament spool holders on the back, two runners for your, your extruders to keep the filament coming up and over smoothly. The movement not bad uh, noise wise but still I haven't had any problems really smooth but overall what I'd like to say about this printer is for the price point if you're just starting out or you've had a single extruder printer that was cheaper than this one say uh, a Chinese kit that you ordered uh, this guy comes pre-assembled you only have to put the extruder into two screw holes here put the glass in assemble to two spool holders on the back and you're up and running. So let's recap. You can print two colors, no issues. The nozzles and some of the specs are a little finicky as far as what you're getting versus what's posted. 
but it works in the end. And that's what makes a printer is, does it print for you? So I can definitely recommend this printer at $400 for a person that doesn't have a thousand, a two thousand, three thousand dollar budget for their first or second printer, but wants a dual extruder, either for support material with an art filament or two different filaments at the same time. This printer has done a great job in the last month and I hope for it to continue to do a great job. Like I said, specs are a little odd online, but overall, it's a working product. It's pre-built. You don't have to assemble it. And it prints out, like I said, a great result. Till next time, keep printing.